Confucianism is an ethical and philosophical system that originated in ancient China and has had a profound impact on Chinese culture and society. The teachings of Confucius, the system's namesake and founder, have been influential for over 2,500 years and continue to shape Chinese culture and society today. In this essay, we will explore the key principles of Confucianism, its history and development, and its impact on Chinese culture and society. The teachings of Confucianism are based on the idea of humaneness, or Ren, which encompasses the values of compassion, empathy, and respect for others. According to Confucian philosophy, individuals should strive to cultivate their own virtues and to treat others with kindness and compassion, regardless of their social status or background. This emphasis on humaneness is reflected in the five constant virtues, which are benevolence, righteousness, propriety, wisdom, and faithfulness. Another key principle of Confucianism is the idea of social harmony, or Li. According to Confucian philosophy, society is best governed through the cultivation of moral values and the establishment of a just and equitable social order. Confucianism places great emphasis on the role of education in promoting social harmony, and Confucian scholars throughout history have been dedicated to promoting education and moral values in society. The history of Confucianism dates back to the time of Confucius himself, who lived in China during the 6th and 5th centuries BCE. Confucius was a philosopher and teacher who sought to promote ethical values and social harmony in China through his teachings and writings. His ideas were transmitted through a collection of texts known as the Analects, which contain his teachings on a wide range of subjects, from ethics and morality to politics and governance. Over the centuries, Confucianism has undergone many changes and adaptations, as different scholars and thinkers have interpreted and expanded upon Confucius's original teachings. One of the most significant developments in Confucianism occurred during the Song Dynasty CE, when Neo-Confucianism emerged as a dominant school of thought. Neo-Confucianism emphasized the importance of metaphysical concepts such as the Tao and the unity of opposites, and sought to reconcile Confucian philosophy with Buddhism and Taoism. Despite its many adaptations and developments over the centuries, Confucianism has remained a central force in Chinese culture and society. Confucian values and teachings have influenced everything from politics and governance to art and literature, and have played a key role in shaping Chinese social norms and values. Today, Confucianism remains an important part of Chinese culture, and its influence can be seen in everything from the education system to the political landscape. One of the ways in which Confucianism has influenced Chinese society is through its emphasis on education. Confucianism places great value on learning and education, and throughout Chinese history, Confucian scholars have been respected and revered for their knowledge and wisdom. Confucian education emphasized the study of classical texts and moral philosophy, and sought to instill in students a sense of ethical responsibility and civic duty. Today, Confucian education continues to play a central role in the Chinese education system, with Confucian values and teachings emphasized in everything from primary school curriculums to university courses. Confucianism has also had a profound impact on Chinese politics and governance. Throughout Chinese history, Confucianism has been closely associated with the idea of the mandate of heaven, which holds that the ruler of China is divinely appointed and has a duty to govern justly and fairly. Confucianism has also emphasized the importance of the role of the ruler as a moral leader, who is responsible. Continue for promoting the welfare of the people and maintaining social harmony. This idea of the mandate of heaven has been influential in shaping the Chinese political system and has been used to justify both the legitimacy of the ruler and the need for social stability and order. Confucianism has also influenced Chinese art and literature. Confucian values such as humaneness, respect for tradition, and reverence for the past have been reflected in many works of Chinese art and literature. Traditional Chinese calligraphy, for example, emphasizes the importance of precision and discipline, qualities that are also valued in Confucian philosophy. Likewise, many Chinese novels and poems reflect the Confucian emphasis on moral values and social harmony. One of the criticisms often leveled against Confucianism is that it is too focused on tradition and hierarchy, 
and does not allow for individual freedom and creativity. Some argue that Confucianism has been responsible for the stifling of creativity and innovation in Chinese society, and has hindered the development of a more open and liberal culture. Others, however, argue that Confucianism is compatible with individualism and freedom, and that it provides a framework for promoting ethical values and social harmony in a rapidly changing world. In recent years, there has been renewed interest in Confucianism both within China and around the world. Some have argued that Confucianism has the potential to serve as a source of moral guidance in a world that is increasingly marked by social and ethical crises. Others have pointed to the need for a new kind of Confucianism, one that is more flexible and adaptable to the changing realities of the modern world. In conclusion, Confucianism is a philosophical and ethical system that has had a profound impact on Chinese culture and society. Its emphasis on humaneness, social harmony, and education has shaped Chinese values and norms for over 2,500 years, and continues to be a central force in Chinese society today. While Confucianism has faced criticism for its emphasis on tradition and hierarchy, it remains an important source of moral guidance and inspiration for millions of people around the world.